Greetings and welcome to our service of worship here at Tawasin United Church in Delta, BC, Canada. For those who are joining with us from our congregation, Tawasin United, or those joining us online, uh, we pray God's blessing upon you uh, during this time of worship and that uh, what we offer, what we bring in the Word of God and in our thoughts, uh, that it would be guiding us always to hear more deeply God's Word for us. We begin our service today with this statement. Tawasin United Church is located on the traditional and unceded territories of the Coast Salish Indigenous Peoples and the Treaty Territory of the Tawasin First Nation. The United Church of Canada acknowledges the territory's significance for the indigenous peoples who lived and continue to live in this territory. We have a few announcements to bring to you about the life and the work of our congregation. We're mindful to be in prayer today. Uh, we'll speak our prayers and, and pause in the middle of that uh, for you to uh, bring thoughts in prayer as well. But I would ask you to be aware in your prayers through the week for the Waterford and other senior residents in the area that are struggling with COVID-19 outbreaks. And we would hold uh, in prayer this week Sylvia Wilkinson in the loss of her husband Tony, who passed uh, from this life last Saturday. I will be calling members of the congregation, as I have over the last uh, month or so, uh, to come by and take a 10 second video clip at your door of you greeting the congregation. So as I call you, I hope I catch you at home and uh, I hope it's an opportunity that you're willing to just say hello and uh, welcoming uh, greeting to the congregation. Mentioned it last week, but uh, just for uh, repetition's sake, here at Tawasin United, we now have the Canada Helps Direct Payment option on our website so that donations can be made to continue to support the church's mission and ministry. For those that are ongoing in their support, we are so thankful. For those who may wish to uh, spread this word to friends and family and others that would like to consider making a donation to our, our mission here. We would love to see that happen as well. We also need to be in prayer for our brothers and sisters in faith and in the part of the world that we live in, in the United States. We are not in the United States, but we're so aware that the dynamics of what is happening affects countries all over the world. And so we would be uh, asking for the re-establishment of, of a peaceful process, especially the transition of power at the inauguration on the 20th of January. And for people that are considering um, expressing their views in ways that are not uh, helpful, Lord, that uh, you might speak to them and uh, allow their hearts to be open to truth. I welcome back for this service uh, Philip, who has been continuing the work of his studies, uh, trying to draw to a close the uh, final pieces of that. And Philip Francis will be taking part in some of the readings of our service today. Good to have you with us, Philip. We're going to now uh, enter into our time of worship with this prelude that uh, Ron Smale brings to us.
call to worship is a responsive call to worship. Before we were born, God knew us. God knit us together in the womb. God searches out our paths and tracks us along our way. So we, so we praise, praise God, God because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. There is nowhere we can go where God is not with us. How wonderful are all God's works. Let us worship God together. And we open our hymns of worship with hymn number 87, I am the light of the world. <laughs> 